Well, good morning, everybody. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana. This morning, I need to go out and take a look at those nukes that I made and uh, see if they're going to be ready to sell anytime soon. The way things are going, who knows? Well, folks, it is April 29th. It is a beautiful 68 degree morning. The sun's coming up. Uh, I think we're supposed to get some rain today or some rough weather, but uh, right now it's gorgeous. And uh, I need to go out and check these nukes, see where their growth is at. So what we had with the nukes was I made nine. One I made early and it got away from me. It actually grew fast, man, exponentially fast. I don't know what happened, whether it was that maybe they when I made them a little early, I think I made them on the tail end of the uh, Blackberry flow and they really exploded and then we had to freeze. So I really didn't pay much mind to them because I figured, you know, they were going to slow down like everything else slowed down, but they had already grown. So I put them in a 10 frame. So I've kind of kept them because I want them now that they're in a 10 frame, I'm not going to bring them back down. So that left me eight and out of those eight, uh, I believe all, all the, all the, queens emerged I saw unmated queens in every single one of them um, but then when I went back to check for uh, eggs and to mark the queens um, three had failed two had turned into laying workers and one is just queenless so I shook the laying workers out and let all the field bees and such go back to the pallets where they were at they went into the other small nukes the one that was uh, just queenless wasn't laying worker yet I shook them out on top of a nuke that didn't have a lot of numbers so they're kind of like there's i know there's at least two or three of them that are ready to sell and um one or two of them that may still be behind so that's what we need to check today all the queens were marked so that left me five to sell um this year uh because of three failures and one that i kept so uh, I, I keep nukes in the yard and there and these nukes are just excesses for me guys this is what i when i when i had excess sales, I built the nukes. When I have excess bees, which I really didn't have this year, as far as splits goes, then I make nukes and sell them. In other words, if I've got bees that I have split, um, I don't have to worry about those, but once I didn't split, sometimes they'll get ahead of me and attempt to swarm. I'll take five frame nukes off of them, and then I'll requeen them, and we'll get those sold. So we're gonna go out there and check and see what we got. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this first one. I know this one's small and not ready to go. Um, it was it was kind of behind anyway i don't even know if we'll end up you know, I, I might what i might do is go ahead and put a uh a bottle feeder on this one well that bee didn't like me being in there and put a stinger in my arm for no reason well it burns in that tender skin dirty rotten good for nothing so let's give them a little smoke they're obviously not happy all right let's see if we can get these these bees are for whatever reason they're not happy so very small colony this was definitely not ready and i kind of knew it i put this one together a little bit later and um also i want to say this is the one i had a little bit of a uh, like a week later and i had a problem with uh i didn't put a cell in i put a unmated queen in it and she got started late so there she is there's our mark queen all the queens came from the same queen mother. These just were in cells and were a later graft. So this colony's a little bit later. So this one's definitely not ready. Let's let's do look at our pattern. They're gonna need a bottle of feed, and I might can have I might can sell these late. But I mean, she's starting up pretty good. It's got a nice ring of larvae on the outside of those cap cells. So they, they've got a couple weeks. This is the one where I shook the um, 
the queenless colony, not the queen, uh, not the laying worker colony, but the queenless one on top of. And they didn't take on many bees. They must have all went back <laughs> for the most part. But she's trying to lay. I need to give her another frame. Here's a frame for her to lay in right here. And it's full of eggs. So we're going to call it a day with this one and say not ready yet, not really even close. So what I do is I got to let these bees emerge. We need to get a little bottle of feed on them. There's their honey frame. So I got to give them a fifth frame before I sell them, of course. But they'll go with two frames, two to three frames of brood is what I usually try and send them with. One stores and one frame that she can be laying in. So definitely not ready. But look at these pro nukes. They have these little spots on them for feed this takes like a normal soft drink bottle the plastic bottles you, you dremel out the little slots and you can put it in there so i may do that because this pro nuke will go with the customer and if i give them that feed that will um should boost them up so they started me out with a good sting on the arm for whatever reason i think i'm in their flight path and uh but other than that these are really calm bees the queen that I took them off of is she's always calm. She's prolific. All right, we're going to take a look at this one. This one should have better numbers. Oh, yeah. And I haven't looked at most of these queens since I marked them. As far as um, seeing how they're doing. But we're going to look at this. Now, these pro nukes... Uh, when I first got them, I thought, man, they'd be great for raising colonies and all. They're really not. They're made for one thing. That is raising them up and selling them as a shipping container. I don't know why I'm not using my hive tool. So they got blocks and things in them to keep the frames from moving around. And they don't do good in the heat and in the, you know, in the cold. But they're great for mating nukes and things like that. Uh, so they can identify the colors when they come back from mating flights and they're great for just a quick raise a nuke feed them up and get them out the door and that's kind of what we're going to do so let's, let's sit this here they're very excited right now for whatever reason i don't know why they're all so excited these are usually very gentle bees but i think it's because it's cool out look at that this one's going to be ready as this starts coming out in the next few days this thing's going to be loaded so whoever gets it's gonna to need to get it in a 10 frame quick and in a hurry man the larvae all the way out to the edges i love it i love it i love it okay i don't want to smash any bees every bee counts with this nectar flow being down and that's why we'd have to feed them when i've done nukes the last few years i haven't had to feed them at all they build up so fast that i sell them <laughs> before may there's our queen our beautifully marked uh our beautiful queen that's marked in red for this year she's good um, see her laying pattern definitely putting in some eggs let's take a look at this one last frame I'm in the path of this other colony they're getting after me because um, I'm standing I'm sitting in their path And this one's she's back filling it loaded with eggs and there's honey in here. So they got honey on the tops They put that in so they these ones are finding nectar for sure. Look look at that. So this one's ready to go I'm gonna advertise this one for sale for sure Advertise it today. At least I could say it was before May 1st. I wish I'd have had them all By the third week of April and you'll say well the population is super big But look at the brood that's gonna be emerging really soon So this is all pollen there's the pollen frame to go with them. So this is a great nuke to sell. So I look forward to getting this advertising out the door to somebody that could use some bees last minute, late in the season. A lot of condensation, another reason. These things, see the condensation. Pro nukes, they're great for just uh, getting your bees raised up that I can tell, but when it comes to, um, get this water off here. Well, it's not cold, it's not gonna hurt them bad, but when it comes to long-term, and not what they're made for and I learned that they also don't fit queen cells swarm cells on the bottom they've got blocks that help the 
nukes nest together in, but they're also keep the frames from swaying in the bottom. They got blocks on the centers for the frames to set on as they sit on the frame rest and the bottom. So frames with a little bit of burr comb don't fit real good, but when you're raising nukes, they're great and they're great for transporting because you just shut the doors, you open them up. They are vented really well and they keep the frames from swaying too much in there during transport. So they're made for that purpose. They work great for that purpose. Other purposes they don't work so good for. So this is that box that outgrew me. I could probably put them back in a nuke and sell it, but I mean, I'm not hurting. I'm not trying to sell nukes. I'm selling excesses, and I think I'm gonna keep this colony. All right, I'm not sure what this one looks like. I know the one next to it had a bunch of bees on it yesterday on the front, oh wow. And I think that's from all the bees that gathered. Yeah, let's say, make sure a queen's not in there. That's slam full of pollen. I gotta get this one on the market today. It's gonna. I'm like, oh wow, bees falling off of it. My goodness. This was a, they're drawing this one out. That's good. Always good to see a new drum. Full of pollen. There's the pollen frame for them. So let's stick this carefully here. Yeah, this one, we got to get it out the door. have a flashlight to look I need to get up and turn it in the sun and look at her eggs but yeah she's she's doing fantastic well yeah full of eggs hard to see because of the way the sun is where I'm standing here let's see if we can find our queen she's here obviously now this was a undrawn frame now my big colonies aren't drawn comb here this one is I don't mean drawing it. The only spots that aren't full have a little dab of bee bread in them. Yeah. Yeah. Another one that somebody is going to really enjoy. Let me take a picture of this. Very careful with our queens. Another one full. This thing is absolutely going to explode. So I will advertise it as get it now. It has to be in a 10 frame. This one's full of larvae. Ah, there's our queen. There she is. Ow! Dirty, rotten. There's our queen. She was, she's little. <laughs> but she ain't little in the egg laying category. She is getting after it, folks. So, good colony. Make sure she's safe. We'll put her back in here. This one's more than ready to go, folks. We've got to get it out the door. Whoever gets it needs to get it in 10 frame ASAP. Here's the next one. Oh, yeah. Plenty of bees in this one. So this one's got bees on every frame. Here's an empty frame she can lay in. And she is. Wow. Wow. I love these queens. Look at the eggs. Can you see them? I hope you can. I'll try and get the camera right for it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is another one. I didn't feed them. Kind of glad I didn't. Well, if I would have fed them, they would have been ready um, at least a week ago, maybe sooner, sooner than that. Another beautiful frame of brood. So whoever's getting these, there's the old cup still. There's the queen. There she is. I'm going to put her back. I'm going to put her here. I do want to look at some brood real quick. I don't like sitting her outside the colony, but I'm going to be quick. I want to look at this. Okay, full of larvae and eggs and emerging brood. Another frame of brood next to it. All right, we're done with this one. Let's get her back in there. And this one's ready to sell now. 
There's our queen. I can't take the cup out, I guess. No reason to have that in there. You guys at Graft, do y'all reuse those? I reused a few this year and they worked out good. Is that normal? I don't know. Is that just being tight? Gosh, I can't get over I love it. I love seeing those frames like that. I wish my big colonies were looking like this. <laughs> oh well. Actually, my big ones might actually peak perfectly for any tallow that does come in. Okay, that one's good. Last one, this is number five. Oh my gosh. This is a light frame, very well could have a queen on it. You know. All right, so this, this is a honey frame and storage frame. Pollen in it, so that's good. Oh, oh great. Well, that was bad. <laughs> well, better hope the queen wasn't there. Don't want to step on any bees. You got to let them get back in here. They're crawling back to the box. My goodness. Well, that was that was a mishap. What if that had been the queen frame? Or was it? I didn't see her. And it was stores. And here I was just talking about how she can be on the outside. This is an old frame. Look at this. Get out of my pants. Going up my legs. I can feel them on my socks. Alright, I think she jumped out. Okay, this one is full of eggs. Full of eggs once again. The bees are settling down now. They're, coming, they're crawling back. My goodness. Well, that, was a, that was a slip of the hand. Yeah, she's pretty good queen, I'd say. Another one. Not as far along as the last two, but far enough along, they're ready to be sold. They got stores, eggs, brood. They got what they need. We want to see our queen. Make sure we didn't dump her on the ground. I haven't moved my feet. I don't want to step on these bees. I want them to crawl back. I'll be very careful not to step on any. Oh, I see our queen already. I just see her, seen her in the other frame. I'm gonna get her out real quick. I just saw her down there when I was looking. Where did I see her? There she is. There she is. Notice these, the first one was kind of dark and the rest of them have been light. Well, the second one was kind of tiger stripe too, I think. This is that caramel color. But they're all from the same one. That's what's strange sometimes. Let's get this out of here. So this is a pollen frame she's running around on, but there's some larvae in here, so she's been laying. Let me get her back in. ASAP. So this one doesn't have as much cat brew, but it has some. And with them gathered on that frame like that, there's eggs in there, you know that. Yeah, this is all emerged. There's where our numbers came from. Completely full of larvae all the way down to milk brood and eggs, so she's filling this one out good too so let's get this back together I see my queen down in there still she shows up those caramel color queens are always so easy to spot they're so um, oh man they're so easy to spot because of their color so this one has stores it has pollen it has eggs it has all stages of brood it's got a good amount of bees all right guys there you go that's my new operation for this year. Not as many this year, but again, it's been a crazy year. When I did my splits, um, I noticed as I was splitting, I didn't have as many I needed to split. And as I was splitting, I, I wasn't, uh, as I was filling my stands, I actually still have one hole left. Um, I didn't fill them completely up. And so I didn't have a lot of excesses. And that's, that's kind of my operation is, you know, I'm not a, a nuke salesman per se, but I'm going to sell excesses because I got a number. I don't want to get... I don't need more than 40 colonies here but these are doing fine and so what happened with these was i just had spare cells after my graft um i did a, a last uh graft and and got a really good take and so i just took and split cells joey rawls got some from me um he got several i think he got almost 10 of them 
and uh, we, we made queens and nukes and things like that with them and, and uh, that's where these came from so I hope you enjoyed the little video again not as many nukes this year as last but hey it's fun raising them I enjoy it I, and I'm glad um, I can offer them to people toward the end of the season I appreciate all you guys watching once again I always do and, and I say that every single video of course that's what we say on the videos but I really do I, I really appreciate it I still get amazed when I watch it um, almost to 9,000 subscribers We're only a thousand plus away from 10k man who would have thunk it who would have thunk it appreciate all y'all support I appreciate you watching I hope you enjoyed it it's Barry's Best Honey I'm Mike and I do bees today we did nukes Y'all have a wonderful week, and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.